Thanks for getting Chaudhry back to us. She's still rattled. Says... What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse? Maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. If you hadn't come along, I'd still be at their mercy. Thank you. Being controlled by those things, it was like I was watching myself, but my voice, my voice was buried inside me. I, I wanted to scream, but I couldn't even do that. I, I felt like I was drowning no. in myself. Me out just I heard that some of the other security officers, well, Deeg, Lemma, like they didn't make it. I'll try and let you know before I do it again. Please do. It's only the light. <laughs> All right, I'll be back to check on you. Thank you, Al. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. There must be some way out of this. Those things come from. <clears throat> you keeping the fort? Morgan? I thought. I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when. When the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire, it was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer... Rose came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with... They're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Runny told us what happened in the Arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? Runny told us what happened in the Arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? Wait, he just... If only I could have put out the fire. It's contained, but... What they want? I could have done more. If I die, please... There's still hope. Throw me out of an airlock. There must be. Me, but don't let them make me into one of them. I've been watching them for hours, and I still don't know how many of them are out there. They could be anything. If only I had reached the power supply in time. Other people may be hungry. Hope the EATs from the Arboretum were useful. On full auto, they should dare those creatures to pieces. Although I'm glad the EAT rounds were designed not to penetrate the hull. I was up in the Arboretum because... Well, Sarah asked me to keep an eye on your brother and his visitors. 
Let her know if I noticed anyone or anything... odd. Talk about an understatement. We were almost set to arrest your brother when... the attack happened. Really, I'm fine. I'm glad you came along when you did. Really, I'm fine. I'm glad you came along when you did. Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. God, watching those things move makes me sick. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Some of the officers reported seeing glowing structures. Called it coral. The creatures are making it. But why? They can't even respect our dead. That thing. It was like it was sewing Enoch into one of their silhouettes. Goddamn waiting is driving me crazy. They're better than being dead. Requesting new operator. Transfer Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Dr. Igwe figures he'd survive. Dumb luck, I suppose. You've got me if you really find curious. a way out of here, take Are Dr. Igwe with you. Your Maybe he can be of some help. This better Elsewhere. not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees, or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> so you came Probably all this way, grumpy. only to anyway. get back into Talos? The stone only you way find in is to the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your, your brother insisted couldn't escape oh. confinement. Well, kind of like you. That. I'm but the only one with work. the code. Said you it's could take yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The... My men told me power's been restored to the fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you, doctor. That means all we need is the turret fabricator plan. There's one in the safe in the security office, but the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember. The only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. I see you made use of the medical operator. That thing has saved us repeatedly. Remember, it's the eradicator fabrication plan we want, not the reployer plan. Whatever the hell a reployer is.
My specialty is neuromod engineering. Hello. Don't Good know to we, see you again, uh, Doctor. Doctor Igwe is lucky to be here or not. to see what they do to our new friends. Must be a way to get some turrets online. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. No turrets, no code. It's for our safety and yours. 
We still need those eradicator turrets, which means we need the fabricator and the turret fabricator plan. Mm -hmm. These Transtar PPN-8 pistols are mostly for show. Officer Maddox ready. Scanning target typhoid material and conditions. Hopefully that medical operator is ready to go, because we're going to need it after this. Ready to scan. EATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Bay B. Attention. Due to a catastrophic breach in Cargo Bay 1, all personnel are to avoid the area until repairs have been completed and safety checks confirmed. Affected personnel will be contacted for temporary reassignment. This is a pre-recorded message. Cigarette. Always thought something was bound to go wrong, but I couldn't even have imagined this. Wasn't sure how that would play out, Morgan, but I like happens. how it did. Now, you might want to get out there and see if you can save a few more.
requesting new operator. Whoops. Transtar Pyramid 490 Hello. Are you here for an appointment? Operator. Diagnosing. Bruising. Abrasion. Fatigue. Traffic flight threatening. All done. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Error. Attitude adjustment required.
Micah, not sure you got your transcribe. Morgan's making his way to you now. Warning you and anyone else, so you don't shoot him accidentally. Or... Morgan? I thought he was safe. Morgan? Mikhaila, I didn't think to check your transcribe. <coughs> Not sure how you got here. I thought you left because... Never mind. Airlocks and lifts are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexes. Can even see the spots now. You were right. <coughs> even if I could get my booster shots from my office. But I think I can get us out. <coughs> By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lockdown. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but we'll just get here, all right? Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical. Oh. 
Scandal. I'll have you feeling better soon. Good as new. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. My mistake. Sounds strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay, especially considering, well, considering you intend to destroy the station. You gave them some hope, even if it's brief. We are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to... Stubborn? <laughs> to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get.
mastery override. Received. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too.
Control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select dock. That's it. The container just docks itself, right? Yes, Grant. It docks itself. They are all self-piloting. And I guess open opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way, the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Okay, bye. Hey, Lane. This is Gus down in cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <gasps> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I, I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. <sighs> you obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. But ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem.
Three arms of that. 
Scanning target Typhon material inconclusive. Logging calibration request.
Insufficient time. Something 